let's go on with our tutorial. We add another flange always with the goal of having a look at different functions. We click on local properties and more options and set the length to 120 mm. Wishing to insert some distances from the extreme points of the selected edge, we use the extension option. We specify 10 mm as first distance and 20 mm as second one, or set values indicating first instance and width, and we confirm. Changing the views, we can see that some reliefs were added. As in global properties, it specifies that reliefs must be built in this way for bend and flange. We go on in changing our solid and redefine the flange to see in its local properties which reliefs of the flanges are set. OK. We notice that for flanges with reliefs, reliefs must be made rectangular. Now we unlock the lock and change the local property. Instead of rectangular, we state that our reliefs will be oblong with a diameter of 4 mm. OK. And rebuild. Let's now manage the relief modification. We redefine the flange again because we remove the extension value, so we ask to consider all the selected edge and as for reliefs, we are going to handle them in presence of edge since we'll actually have flanges in correspondence of edge. So we define corners instead of the default value. Starting to create the relief on the edge in this way, we specify that we want it circular with a diameter of 8 mm and rebuild to see the result. However, this flange doesn't work fine yet, that is, it should also cover the part that in this case is still empty. That's why we redefine it, rotating it in the meanwhile, in order to set side angles in more options, that is the possibility of laterally tilting the flange. In this case, we carried it out dynamically. OK. Once more we change view using the predefined views and adjust it furtherly. OK. On second angle from the context menu, we select Enable Adaptive Measure and specify that the angle measure will be retrieved from an adaptive measure of an angle and not from a distance or other entities. We are asked to specify two edges from which the angle value will be retrieved, so we rebuild up the selection. What does all this mean? It means that if we select a flange and change from show driving dimensions its orientation angle from 70 to 80, even the side angle inclination of the flange is updated accordingly. OK. Now we switch it back to 70 and rebuild. Well done. We rotate the solid and add the same flange on the other side. So we apply flange and select the edge. The side angle's value is already set. In this case it's not on the right edge anymore, so we set 90 and apply Enable Adaptive Measure on the left edge, always to retrieve an angle measure between the two edges, and confirm. Now we must ensure that the excess part of the flanges we are showing is folded inwards. We perform the operation by sketched band. First we must create a profile. We place the work plane on the face and by parallel line we draw a parallel line, not unlimited, but copying an existing length of 3 mm. By exiting the command, the line is kept selected 
and applying the sketch band command the program takes charge of the profile detected on the face and already selected so by double clicking the arrow we state that the part to be folder is the one over the profile we can possibly enter a different value of the angle we keep it at 90 degrees and double click the other arrow we can make the band inwards or outwards we chose inwards in addition we unlock the global property of the alignment and set it to local then set out of flange and confirm now we do the same on the other side again we place the work plane on the face and make a parallel line three millimeter long okay we get out of the command apply the sketch band command and rotate the object double click on the arrow to set the inward direction okay and we confirm our solid is taking shape now we select it and by the height driving dimensions command we hide dimensions let's now ask from system options construction to hide driving dimensions upon creation and application of features to avoid having many driving dimensions that may create confusion on the screen okay and we save the model